New at four, we got an exclusive tour of the renovations at Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birth home. As Channel 2's Sophia Choi reports from Southeast Atlanta, the home is holding a silent open house tomorrow on the anniversary of Dr. King's death. Right now, this is the only area open to the public, the first floor, and you really can't tell where the renovations begin and end thanks to the meticulous care by the National Park Service. We found students from Chicago on a guided tour of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birth home. They're a select group getting an early look at the renovations before an open house on Tuesday, the anniversary of Dr. King's assassination. To assess the home, Rangers even took down the sheetrock to get a good look. Just so that we can look at the studs, and we can look at the windows, and we can look at the doors, and we can look at the floors. Rebecca Karcher with the National Park Service showed us the fixes, including work on this stairwell, this section of flooring that was slipping, and the ceiling, parts of which had to be removed and patched up. Even the wallpaper was replaced and matched to the original. We contracted a vendor who was able to recreate the wallpaper the way it would look like when Dr. King lived here in the 1930s. The house has been closed off and on since August 2016. What's still not open is the second floor where you find Dr. King's birth room. This is a picture of it. Rangers are trying to get it ready for the 50th anniversary of Dr. King's death next year when they expect hundreds of thousands of visitors. Currently, we're working upstairs now. So the upstairs is still closed. We have to prepare the birth room. We have to prepare the um, hallway and the staircase just to make sure that it too can accommodate the large foot traffic. This really is an incredible house, much bigger than it looks from the outside. And Rangers say it's also structurally sound despite all. Of the visitors. Overall, to their surprise, they found very little damage. In Southeast Atlanta, Sophia Choi, Channel 2 Action News.